UW360 is proudly supported by Pacific Office Automation, Copy, Print, Workflow, and IT, Problem Solved. Halogen, Fluorescent, CFL, LED. With all the options on the market, shopping for lighting these days can be a confusing experience. This is the standard incandescent lamp, familiar to everyone. This lamp was phased out recently by federal standards. And on the forefront of this lighting revolution is the LED, or light emitting diode. We have LEDs currently on the market that can produce the same amount of light as that 60 watt incandescent, consuming only 10 watts instead. You don't have to do a lot of math to figure out that uh, LED technology is going to save American households and households in this region a whole lot of energy. Although prices are dropping quickly, LEDs are still more expensive than consumers are used to paying. Turn it on. But a pair of researchers is looking into ways to make LEDs cheaper and at the same time greener to produce. When I turn it on, it's just blue. Chang Ching Tu and Ji Hu met as graduate students in electrical engineering at the University of Washington. Together, they formed LumiSans, a company that has developed a way to make an important component of an LED in a much better way. So you can see the yellow um, gel, gel thing on top of the LEDs. The phosphors in an LED illuminate and help control the color of the light you see. Otherwise, the LED would emit a harsh blue light. When I turned it on, um, the phosphors will absorb part of the blue and convert it to yellow and red. That's why you perceive more, uh, white light. Currently, LEDs on the market contain phosphors made with rare earth elements. These materials are expensive, and the mining process can be hazardous to the environment. Instead, the technology developed by LumiSands uses inexpensive and environmentally friendly silicon to produce phosphors. It's one of the most abundant materials. It's um, basically um, the main component of common sand. LumiSands is still in the research and development stage, but they hope to have their technology in use on the market within the next few years. Hopefully one day we'll be able to provide the market with a rare earth free phosphor solution for LEDs. Advances in technology are making better quality lighting with higher efficiency. But at the same time, energy needs in the Northwest are growing year after year. That's why Seattle City Light is making huge investments in energy conservation. And lighting is a huge part of Seattle City Light's conservation efforts. Currently, they provide rebates to residential customers on light bulbs and other energy efficient appliances. And on a larger scale, they consult with commercial customers on energy efficient lighting projects. With all of the benefits they provide, the future of LED lighting looks, well, bright. Every six months, we have better product, better color rendition, a lower price, and it just keeps on getting better and better. And so the way lighting is in the future is going to look a lot more like LED.